Hello, I'm Karima, psychologist, wellness coach, and parenting expert. And today we are with Dr. Gaurav Gupta, pediatrician and uh, your personal child specialist. His podcast hai, as well as his YouTube channel. I'll share the links below after this video. Uh, he's also the founder of Chara Clinics and um, Travel Safe Clinics, practicing out of Mohali Chandigarh. Welcome, Dr. Gaurav Gupta, on the Body Nirvana channel. Hi, Garima. Thanks for having me on the show. Today, the most important topic is that in the India, there is a lot of rain in So, parents are really concerned about how to take care of their child. So, if you could please share from a pediatrician's point of view, what are some of the precautions that we should take in this heat? Sure. So we can divide this to make it simple into three parts. What the children should eat or drink, what activities the children should or should not do, and what type of clothes they should wear. So this is a simple way of dividing what things can be done during the summers. Excellent. So could you share about the foods? Yeah. So let's start with the foods. The simplest way I always tell parents is to go to your leg, uh, regular vegetable market, fruit market, and just see what is available off the shelf. Look for local seasonal fruits rather than stuff which is coming from a storage. So for example, right now we have lots of watery, juicy fruits like whether it is tarbuj, kharbuja, papita, and fairly mango fairly soon we'll be starting getting lychee also so look for these stuff and if you give these to your children you really can't go wrong they have everything the kid needs in summers which means they have water they have electrolytes and minerals and they also have sugar in the form of carbohydrates so everything which a child needs as far as fruits are concerned is there in these fruits so, is me protein vegera ki kami ni ho jati hai bachon ko if they don't eat uh, like chole, cha and rajma and chane etc. Eggs. Okay. So, so we are talking about something which is a special requirement for the summers. Proteins are not something which are specially required for summers, and uh, so we are not looking at a diet which is high protein diet because proteins, in fact, when they get burned uh, in the body, they do produce a fair amount of heat. So definitely each child will require fat and they will require proteins and they will also require carbohydrates along with minerals and uh, fluids, etc. But we are talking about what is lost more in summers and what we really need to replenish in summers. And in, the, in this situation, we are talking about fluids, we are talking about uh, namak electrolytes and we are talking about carbohydrates because sugar level tend to fall faster in this situation. Okay. And about any vegetables, etc. specifically? Yeah, so again, whatever is being locally grown, if you're growing it in a house also, that's wonderful. But if you're having it in a local uh, vegetable store, things like uh, khira, things like kakadi, palak, these are green, leafy, they have a fair amount of water content and also they have a good amount of iron. So all of this is wonderful. Uh, you really can't go wrong if you shop in the right place. Okay, so, and the right place being that the local sabzi wala hota hai, rede vigera pe, unse kharide hum log. Yes, or if you have a, your, your favorite, I have my favorite fruit and vegetable vendor in the mandi, so I go there, but yeah, uh, either, either is fine. Don't, don't go to these big supermarkets for buying your uh, local daily ration and your weekly ration. Okay, and you were mentioning something about carrots before when we were talking. Yes, so now it's getting really hot. So the carrots that we are getting now are from, not from the local produce, we are getting them from cold storage. Now, while this may still be good for fiber, they, it's not really a good source of uh, vitamins, especially the vitamins which get destroyed with cold storage like B complex and vitamin C, etc. So I would definitely not recommend buying anything from cold storage, including the carrots which are going to come in the summers. Excellent. And uh, what about the activities? Uh, can we let the children go out to play in this kind of heat? Yeah, so um, 
12 to 4 is the time when the sun is really, really burning hot. And that's the time when outdoor physical activities should ideally be avoided. But you can definitely do indoor activities and uh, any activity which really cools you down like swimming, for example, is really awesome. So avoid outdoor activities during this time and beyond this it's wonderful summers are an excellent time to do physical activity because your body is relatively loose and you're likely to uh, feel much sweat much more you're likely to lose a lot of fluids but if you take care of your fluids replenish them with things like coconut water nimbu pani etc you're really good to go as far as summer activities are concerned so, if the child is very sweat and very sweat, it's not a problem really? Oh, it's wonderful. I, I mean, I really love the fact that whenever we are playing a lot in the summers, we really sweat a lot. So, we can lose a lot of our toxins through the sweat. And if we replenish them properly, um, it's really good because you tend to lose weight during summers also if you, uh, if you exercise well. And as far as kids are concerned, they can really build up their body very well. Um, in the summers, which sometimes can be an issue during the winters because of the stiffness, because of the large number of clothes that they have to wear. So for flexibility, summers is a good time to do all kinds of activities. Okay. But then um, any other kind of uh, precautions, like what type of clothes to wear, etc.? Right. So, I mean, obviously clothes do become to some extent dependent upon the activity that you're doing. But definitely, as far as possible, whether you are doing some activity or whether you are at home, loose cotton clothes are the way to go. So if you are wearing something which is natural from cotton, you really can stay quite healthy as far as summers are concerned. And you don't really need to worry too much about uh, excessive sweating in that situation. Uh, if a rash is very type, so in that case, changes What should we be looking at? What might have we have done wrong or something? Overclothing is one thing. Wearing things like uh, nylon clothes, for example, which we tend to wear for doing some physical activities and not changing fast enough. Not taking a proper shower before and after doing any activity. For swimming, this is important both times before and after. And for other physical activities, it is important after you have taken a bath. And then just using any dusting powder on your body. All these are the most important reasons why you will have a rash during summers. If it's really bad, then you probably need to contact your pediatrician to look for things like a fungal infection, which may need to be treated with uh, over-the-counter medicines. But in that case, it's best to see a child specialist or a skin specialist. And uh, during this time, uh, can we expect that there will be any kind of in the body? Mein? Any supplements, etc. are required? So, as I said, most important would be fluids. Next would be electrolytes. And to some extent, you can take B-complex vitamins because we tend to get a typical history from mothers and parents that child is not eating a lot in the summers. Correct. Now, since this is an issue in the summers itself, the primary reason for this is the fact that the child feels quite hot and in that case they tend to uh, eat less and this is compensated by the fact that they drink more and they're taking more fluids but yes b complex vitamins and these can be in the form of syrups or these can be in the form of uh, gummy vitamins which are jerry toffees that kids can take they enjoy this and uh, they will be getting their supplement of b complex vitamin c etc in case they need it Okay. Thank you so much for this wonderful talk, doctor. And I, I'm sure that all other parents will also really appreciate it. I, for one, have learned a lot of things. And I think it's going to be a lovely summer for our family. Thanks, Darima. Thanks for having me on the show. It was really awesome to interact with you. And I hope that parents and caregivers of children will really benefit from all of this. I would Definitely suggest that in case they want more child health information, since I'm a child specialist, they can uh, switch on to my podcast at your personal child specialist and they can log on to my YouTube channel as well. Yes, I have heard your podcasts and I really enjoy them and appreciate them. They are full of a lot of um, information and in fact wisdom that's really helpful. So thank you once again for joining us.
Thank you and bye-bye.